So, so when can we expect to start feeling the effects of this storm on the East Coast? There are already waves in Florida right now and eventually into Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. But really, we won't feel wind with this until Sunday night, maybe even until Monday. I think we probably get a lot of air travel through on Sunday night. But by the time Monday rolls around, almost every airport up and down the East Coast will be shut. Not even if they're, they don't wow. close their doors. You're just not going to see airlines send their planes into that type of system and then risk having either a bumpy landing, uh, you know, the, the plane being on the ground in a hurricane. There just won't be flights. When, I mean, this may be an unanswerable question. When will we know um, how bad this is going to be or, or what, what it's going to actually kind of look like? Because at this point, it's still kind of far out. It is kind of far out, and, and, it, and it, was, it was far out last night. And at some point last night, I had three models. I tweeted about this in the middle of the night. I had three models bringing a Category 3, almost Category 4 hurricane into New York Harbor. I went, wow. Wow. This is, this is ugly. And now it backed off today because the storm simply didn't generate coming out of the Bahamas. It didn't generate a lot like Irene didn't generate. So if this thing stays kind of like the Irene, this becomes not a big deal. But that's not the forecast. Not a single model does that. Every model turns it back into the northeast, either from New York City all the way down to North Carolina. And then here's the rub that we've never gone through this before. There's not been ever an instance where a computer model has had to work this out in its head or in its computer. There's a cold air mass back here. There's a low here and another low here, and they're going to combine. What is going to happen when those two combine? We honestly simply don't know. There's, there, there's not been any history for this in the computer program. It just, the only pro program's only been running for 25 years, maybe so, a little bit less. So what is, I, well, just explain to me briefly, what is so unique about that, it, it, the, that combination? You have the moisture from a tropical storm, and then you have the wind and the energy and even the potential for snow with a low pressure that is a normal low pressure. I mean, it's just a winter type low that's coming in from the west and from the southwest. When they get together, you have a storm that already wants to make 40 mile per hour winds. And then you add another storm that has 70 mile per hour winds already in it. And when you smash those together, you get what's called a, a hybrid, a kind of a, a double type storm. And all of a sudden you have energy from one, cold from one and moisture from the other. And it just takes off. Wow. Uh, oh, Chad, I appreciate uh, you uh, cutting <laughs> through the hype and, and trying to give us the facts. Appreciate we'll that, see. Chad. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah.